explosive family drama. Unbelievable results. Mark, the DNA results are in. Will they bring these guests joy or pain? Misty's furious that John denies her two kids. I don't feed these kids, I don't change their diapers, and I don't play with them. And John's own mother is here disgusted with her son, and she's brought her belt. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. No, shut up. Shut up, man. She's gonna take the strap to him. His mother may have the belt, but I have the DNA results. John, John. Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys. He's the father of that child? Yes. What about these 18 guys? I've cheated on him, but not with 18 guys. Is Frank the father? Frank. Plus. When Melvin abandoned Tezzy and her baby, only one person took her in. Melvin's mother. What the hell is wrong with you? So you and your mother aren't talking. That's crazy. That is your baby. You lucky Marvin standing right here. I'll slap you. What happens if he's not the father? She's still going to be mad. Yeah, she's still going to be mad. 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 But is she truly this baby's grandma? Melvin. Shocking family paternity drama. Next. Now, imagine this. Every day, you're being told you're a liar and a cheater. Now, for Misty, that's her life. Misty is determined to prove to her boyfriend, John, that she never cheated on him. And to make matters worse, John also denies her two kids, two-and-a-half-year-old Tristan and one-and-a-half-year-old Anthony. Here's the other player in this. John's own mother, Rhoda, is here, and she's... She's disgusted by her son's accusations right. against Miss. That's right. I'm tired. This is of what this. John. I'm tired. Misty is a cheating, backstabbing slut, and I know her two kids are not much. Not only has Misty manipulated me, but she's manipulated my mother, and it makes me pissed off. I've heard several rumors that Misty's had sex with more than one of my friends. How can she lie and pin these kids on me when she was sleeping around town? I don't feed these kids, I don't change their diapers, and I don't play with them. I refuse to take care of Misty's illegitimate children. If the test results prove that I am the father, I will be a man to bow down and apologize. Okay, so. We've given, of course, everybody a paternity test for the two kids. And then, of course, Misty took the lie detector test. So we're going to find that out. Are you all together? Yes. You love him. With all he my accuses heart. you of doing all this stuff. He denies these kids. By the way, is he a good father to these kids? No. No? Because they're not mine. Those they're not are mine. your kids! Those are your Okay. You ever cheated on him? Nope. Never have. Never. Took the lie detector test. Took, I, it was my idea. You're I, mean, I, can't, I flew. I haven't had no sleep in like two days. Right. I had nothing we'll to eat. We'll see who's lying. I came we'll out. see who's lying. I beat you once. I'll beat you again. No, shut up. I'll beat you shut again. Up. Shut up, man. She's gonna take the strap to him. She's a liar. She's a cheater. I've had enough of this. That's right. She's a liar. She's a cheater. Bring out John right now. Here he is. You're with this woman, right? Right. Do you love her? I got love for her, but it's kind of just falling apart. I mean, they're not mine. I know she's a cheater. She's a liar. I'm just, no, I'm done. Has she cheated on you? You know what? She I ever found admitted, a number. To, she ever found, admitted to cheating on you? No, but I found numbers. I found a number. Right. Plus, you know, I changed my phone number. In your imagination. Still, she was talking to one of my friends. In your friends. imagination. She was still talking to one of my friends. And I changed my number. I raised you better than that. She's an awesome lady. She's awesome. She does more help than he does. I love her. And then She's I'll a Mexican. Jack, We're Mexicans. Too. We take care of ours.
Okay. So John's mother wrote, now I want you to know something. Even with all of this energy that she has, and even all this emotion that she has, yeah. she has been battling cancer for a long time. But she's here to stand up for Misty and to show her son that he's the father of her grandchildren. Here's Rose. He's supposed to be on my son. He's supposed to be on my son. You got a brain one. He's supposed to be on my son. No, no, no. He's supposed to be on my son. He's supposed to be on my son. No, no, no. You got your brain one. My kids. My kids. My kids. Not my kids. This love my baby girl. Don't look like me. Don't look nothing like me. Love those kids. I love my son. Love your kids. I love my son. I love, love my grandkids. grandkids. I love everybody. But you love your son and you're in his face like that? Because, you know what? Because these are my babies. Because these are my babies. These are my babies. That's why. And he's going to raise them like he should. Are you surprised at him? I I'm totally surprised at him, Maury. I've been a single parent. I raised my kids by myself. I never raised my children to do stuff like this. Yeah. Never. <laughs> We're going to find out right now. So first, we're going to have the results of the paternity test, and then we're going to have the lie detector results, okay? That's right. When it comes to two-year-old Tristan, John, you are the father. And you can have whatever you like. And you can have whatever you like. When it comes to... When it comes to one-year-old Anthony, John, you are the father. Kids are feet. 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 Kids are you were asked if you've had sex with any of John's friends during your relationship with him. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. You were asked if you had sex with your neighbor during your relationship with John. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. You were asked if you had sexual contact with, of any kind with anyone other than John during your relationship. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. We'll be back you right after this. this. Thank you. You need to show me you're sorry. I, I words are easy. You're going to start changing pampers? Yeah. You're going to start naming babies? Yeah. Giving baths? You start making no, bottles? I'll do everything. Never I'll call me everything. a name again. I'll do everything. Never. That's all I want. I want. Thank you, Jesus. I'll do everything for him. Everything. Listen out. Listen out. Listen out. She's the most desperate mother of the year. He don't have me with nothing. You the father of my child, child! Not mine. You the father! But did she bring the right man? When it comes to seven-month-old Sean Jr. You are the father! Sean's father! Oh! Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys. Oh! Is Frank the father? Frank. Oh! Shocking family paternity drama. Next. My next guest, 19-year-old Cassandra, says that she had a fairy tale romance with her boyfriend, Sean, for three years. So when she got pregnant with her now seven-month-old son, Sean Jr., she was excited. Aww. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Now, here's the thing. We want to make sure to let everybody know Sean went to every doctor's appointment. He was there at the birth. But as soon as the baby came out, Sean flipped the script. Not the father.
father. Because according to Sean, Sean Jr. came out looking yellow. What? What? Too damn yellow. I was with Sean for three years, and I can't believe that he would deny my baby Sean Jr. After I had my baby, he just left me and started denying my baby. When my baby Sean Jr. was born, he was a little yellow, and he's still yellow to this day. It shouldn't matter, no color, no skin, because that's his child. You ain't nothing but a broke down excuse for a man. My baby could have came out looking purple, pink, or yellow. It don't matter. You still the father of my child. I named my son Sean Jr. because you are the father. What do you think about all that about the color being yellow? It, don't, it shouldn't matter what color he is. You the father of my child, Sean! The baby's too yellow. It, it don't matter no color, no skin. Yes, it I'm does black matter. And you yellow. Mm. We all black African Americans. He was there for the pregnancy. He was there. He cut my baby cord and everything. So were you all a couple all the way until the child was born? Uh huh. Do you still love him? No. He a sorry, good for nothing daddy. You're yellow. The baby yellow. It don't matter if he you yellow. Look at you. Yes, it does yellow. matter. Do you think they look alike? Yes. Look at my baby. Look at my baby. Look at they got the same everything. Look at my baby. Deny my baby. You ain't shot. You all think he, they look alike? Yeah. No. Well, one of the reasons why you're so upset. You struggle every day. I struggle every day, Marvin. He don't have me with nothing. He don't have me buy no diapers, no shoes, no wipes, no clothes. Just mine. like when my baby went book came, I'm missing. Who was spending the bread on it? Twenty dollars a can. I was not you. This is what Sean had to say. Watch. Cassandra, the minute I saw your baby, I knew he couldn't have been mine. He was too yellow. He was light bright, just like the sun. He's not mine. So face the facts. Flat out, you a hoe because you got a by three guys at a party around the time he was pregnant. How dare you give your baby my name as he doesn't belong to me? That is sacred. I have zero connection with your baby. Every time I hold that yellow baby, all he does is cry. Mark my words, when Maury comes back with those test results and I'm not the father, I'm gonna do backflips off the stage. Let's see, bring him on, Maury! Bring him on, Maury! There he is, Sean. Sit down there, Cassandra. Don't get out of your chair, please. As soon as he said you are the father, I'm smack. <laughs> Sean, all about color. No, it ain't my baby. She a hoe. Look at that baby. I ain't about to look I at nothing, you though. Every day, Sean, I was pregnant before that. No, you haven't, man. No, okay, it ain't my baby, see. though. That's okay, all you need to know. See. Sean, as soon Sean, as say you, you are the father, I'm You don't smack think y'all look alike? No. Not at all. Do they look alike? Yeah. My boy told me she went in, in, three, in the room with three me. boys. Oh. Oh. How's that you what you you've seen Sean Jr., right? Yeah. When you hold him, what happens? All he does is cry. He'll tell me. Sean, can I tell you something? If a baby doesn't cry, then you worry. Okay. It's when they don't cry. Man, I watch it, I worry. It's not my baby. Not your baby. No. But if by chance, you know, if by God's chance he is your baby, you want to take care of him? He's yeah, still I'm gonna not. He's still not. Cause he a if good she keeps talking like then. that, I probably don't. Sean, how long it been? My baby about to be well, eight Well, guess what? Months. Cassandra, yeah, okay. Cassandra, Cassandra, he mine, so Cassandra. Okay. He does have a point. Because if you get into his face all the time, he's not going to want to come around. He's not going to want to be with the For child. Michelle, sure. you hear more of talking? If it wasn't his child, why would you come up there? Why would you be with me? I why understand. would you try to do I, all that I, and I, then I, try to deny my baby? That's not right. That's right. You're right. But we're going to find out right now, okay? Now, 
Sit down, Cassandra. <laughs> Don't get out of your chair, Cassandra. Oh. He is a pretty kid. When it comes to seven-month-old Sean Jr. You are the father! Sean, you are the... I'm not the daddy, I thought you were the father, I'm not, man. What happened? What happened? You looking soft-faced in that house. You looking so soft-faced. My baby looks just like you, Cassandra, Cassandra, Cassandra. If you want him in your child's life, you can't scream and yell and get into his face because nobody's going to want to be around an atmosphere like that, okay? Sean, I'm sorry. I won't be there as much as I possibly can be. Okay, good. Very good. Oh, baby. See, I told you. It don't matter about no color and no skin. Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys. Oh! He's the father of that child? Yes. What about these 18 guys? I've cheated on him, but not with 18 guys. Oh! Is Frank the father? Frank. Oh! A mother furious at her own son. What happens if he's not the father? She's still gonna be my grandma. But is she truly this baby's grandma? Well. The results are in. You are the father! This Father's Day, do something special for that man in your life. Show your appreciation for all the hard work and sacrifices that your father has made. Thank you! Thank you! Enter to win a personal Father's Day message from me for that father who has everything. Happy Father's Day. Shocking family paternity drama, next. This is Frank and his mom, Julie. Three months ago, while Frank was at work, his ex-fiance, Brandy, took their nine-month-old daughter, Samantha, and left. And he hasn't seen them since. Now, here's the deal. Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys. Around pregnant. And now Frank and his mother Julie are desperate to find out if Samantha is his biological daughter. Watch. Four years ago, Frank and his mother Julie took Brandy into their home. When Brandy was 16, she came into my home. She had nothing. We treated her just like she was mine. During that time, Frank and Brandy fell in love. I love Brandy with everything. We moved out of my mom's house, we got engaged, and there was nothing I wouldn't do for that girl. When Brandy got pregnant, I was ecstatic. I was happy to be a father. But just three months ago, Frank's world came crashing down. Brandy took off, left my son Frank, left her family, and took Samantha with her, and it just tore her heart out. Samantha means the world to us. She's my only grandchild. Now I can't even see her. When Brandy left me, I found out she had sex with 18 different guys. And then she turned around and told me I might not be the father. I was pissed. It's so hard on us. We're devastated. <laughs> I want to see Samantha so bad. Guess what? Brandy's mad as heck. You know that? You know Why? she's mad? Why is she mad? She's mad, but you're, you're accusing her of sleeping with 18 guys. And she shouldn't have told everybody. She shouldn't have told everybody. And she what do you mean she told everybody? She told close personal friends me. Yeah. Of mine, yeah. and I had friends that came up to me, and then and she were you surprised when she left? Yes. Uh, yeah. You took her under your own, her wing, didn't you? There, Julie. I mean, like. Yeah, a, a, I took her in when she had nowhere else to go. She lived with you. She lived yes. with us. I've done everything for her. I took care of her. You need she to stop your lie, because that ain't even right. All you did was hoard around, and your mom's a slut too. Oh! I did take her into my home. What she and did I to respect Frank that, but you don't need to be a psychotic bitch. Wrong. What she did to him is dead wrong, but I'll always care about it. Do you her. think you all look like that? You know what, Murray? It's hard to say. I think oh, of the yeah. dude, and I'm hoping to be the baby. Yeah. I hope she is my daughter. I want her, and I'll fight for her. And you know what? You even brought. You even brought. Yeah, we got gifts. I got an Easter gift for her. I brought some well, of her Well, guess Christmas what? She ain't accepted none of them. Well, you haven't seen them. What? If that's your child, I will make sure that she gets your present.
Mike, this is what Brandy had to say. Watch this. Frank, Julie, you act like you're so torn up about this. You don't care about me or my daughter. Frank, you turn into the biggest mama boy. You disgust me. I cheated on you plenty of times in our relationship. That's because you're a damn loser. I am beyond positive that you are the father of Samantha. You were there for the first six months of your daughter's life, and now you want to punk out and be a deadbeat father all because your crazy mother's telling you to? Julie, you're a psychotic bitch. You've had it in for me since day one. Both y'all need to wipe your fake ass tears and help me with my daughter, because I'm not doing it no more by myself, not one more day. Wow. She walked out on them, but she's the one who's angry. I love it. Brandy, come on out. She might not be mine. I hope she is. I'm getting her. Yeah. I mean <laughs> Brandy, let's you and I talk, okay? He's the father of that child. Yes. Why'd you leave him? Because I was sick of the way his mom and him treated me. Are you me. with somebody else now? Yes, and I'm happy. Scream. And he treats me and you, like. And I'm by the way, to be. are you pregnant? Yes, I'm three months oh! pregnant. This is what I don't understand. You left, you took your baby, and you left, but then you wouldn't let him see the baby. Why? Okay, well, I talked to him. No, I never. I told him and his father that they could come see him. They just could not stay in the house, and they could That's not funny. take her nowhere. That's funny. And my that mom was funny. right there, well, wait and a my second. uncle, and my father. If they father. couldn't That's stay funny. in the house, and they couldn't take her anywhere, where were they supposed to see her? No, they couldn't stay in the house. What about these 18 guys? That's a damn lie. I've, I've cheated on him. Damn straight I cheated on him, but not with 18 guys. Oh, like five. In five years. Five guys, five. In five years. Five guys in five years. Yeah. That's not many, right? No. No. That's not. And by the way, obviously, if that's your child, which you want to be, you'll take care of that child. Oh, yes. Yeah, because yes, if I he would have did that, he would have done did it a couple months ago. He didn't even call her for Christmas. Here we go. When it comes to nine-month-old Samantha, Frank, you are the father. Oh, Melvin abandoned Tessie and her baby. Only one person took her in. Melvin's mother. What the hell is wrong with you? So you and your mother aren't talking. That's crazy. That is, that is, that is your baby. You lucky Morris standing right here. I'll slap you. What happens if he's not the father? She's still going to be my grandma. But is she truly this baby's grandma? Melvin. Get off my stage! <laughs> Shocking family paternity drama. Next. 27 year old Tezzy is furious that her ex boyfriend, 23 year old Melvin, is denying he fathered her nine month old daughter, Jalea. Oh, look at Jalea. Isn't she pretty? Now, Tezzy says when her baby was sick and when her baby needed pampers and milk, Melvin turned his back on her. But Tezzy's rescue, Melvin's mother, Mardella. You see, Mardella, Mardella said that Jalea is her grandchild, that she moved Tezzy and the baby into her own home. How about that? But that has caused a huge family feud between Mardella and her son, Melvin. So let's get this straight. You are now living in Melvin's mother's house. Yes, I am. With your baby. Yes. And, they're ta and she's taking care of you. Yes. And if, and if you weren't living there, where would you be living? Probably in a shelter somewhere. She's a big help to me. Jalea's been sick, right? Did he know it? Yes, he knows. I tell him. He didn't do anything? Nothing. Has he ever bought anything for Jalea? Nothing. He nothing. Oh. Okay. Mardella. 
I mean, what kind of things are we going to hear from Melvin now? You not finna hear nothing but lies. All he gonna tell is a bunch of lies about my grandbaby, and I'm not having it. Now, this is your son you're talking about. I don't care. That's my grandbaby we talking about. Right. Well, she's tough. This is what Melvin had to, to say. There. Watch. I always wanted a little girl, but not knowing this one, not mine. It really hurts. One of Ted's ex-boyfriend had passed away, and Jaleel's name was up under his name as one of his daughters, and that made me sick to my stomach. My own mother chose Tizzy sat over me, and it made me feel like the black sheep of the family. As much as I'm hurt, Tizzy still a lying dumbass. <laughs> that dumb Tizzy laughed in my face when someone says the baby don't look like me. That's bogus. I'm sick and tired of Tizzy taking advantage of my mother. She can fool her, but she'll never fool me. Here's my. I just want to know straight up. Absolutely. I mean, what's it like having this baby and Tezzy living with your mother? Man, it's crazy. She sided with her on everything. Everything. What's that make? I mean, because it's his baby. She looked no. just like. Come on, now. If you went through the things I went through, you understand why I'm saying this. Well, how long have uh, have you been living Tezzy with his mother? Like three months. Now. Three months. And how long has it been since you've talked to your mother? Um, like three weeks. You haven't talked to your mother. I haven't talked to her. You ever been? Have you been over the house? I tried to go through, but it's not there. It's so you and your mother aren't talking because of that. You not deny my grandbaby. What the hell wrong with you? I'm trying to hear that. This is what Mardella had to say. Watch this. Melvin, you would not play me like no fool. As long as I get breath in my body, you would not deny my granddaughter Jalea. I raised you better than that. Get off your ass and get a job and be a dad. Melvin, if this don't stop today, I have no problem with kicking your butt on national TV. But this grandma here is tired of me, and I'm not in a hat. What happens if this test comes back and says it's he's not the father? She's still gonna be my granddaughter. <laughs> Bring that test out and prove everything I got to say. Okay, Melvin, if yeah. this is your child, you're gonna take care of that child. Yes, right? I am. You ain't talking about nothing. Come on, Melvin, with that test. He ain't talking about nothing. He ain't talking about nothing. Man, he ain't talking about nothing. Man, that's how I feel about it. He ain't talking about us, he's going to be in this child's life and take care of this child and be there for her if he's the father. I'm going to be there for her. Melvin, when it comes to nine-month-old Jalea, you are the father. <laughs> Amy's not sure if her ex-boyfriend or if the man she loves 
is her baby's father. I love Lonnie with all my heart. If Lonnie's not the father, he's going to be devastated. He's going to be hurt real bad. I want him to be mine so bad. Will this family's prayer be answered? In the case of five-week-old Adia, Lonnie. The results are in. You are the father. <laughs> this Father's Day, do something special for that man in your life. Show your appreciation for all the hard work and sacrifices that your father has made. Enter to win a personal Father's Day message from me for that father who has everything. Happy Father's Day. Shocking family paternity drama, next. This is Amy, everybody, and this is the love of her life, her boyfriend, Lonnie. Now, five weeks ago, Amy gave birth to a beautiful little girl. So as you can imagine, when Amy and Lonnie first found out that Amy was pregnant, they were thrilled. But then, all of a sudden, Amy started thinking. Because when Adia was conceived, Amy and Lonnie had briefly broken up. And Amy had slept with an ex. So now, the doctor didn't give an exact conception date, so the last 10 months have been filled with sadness and doubt and fear that Lonnie is not the father. This is Amy's story. I need to know if my boyfriend Lonnie is my daughter's father. Around the time I got pregnant, I was with my boyfriend Lonnie and an ex. Based on the conception date, I don't know which one is the father. I went through the entire pregnancy thinking that the other man was her father, and now that she's here, I think she could possibly be Lonnie's. I love Lonnie with all my heart. If Lonnie's not the father, he's going to be devastated, and I think it's going to change everything between us. My biggest fear is that Lonnie might not be the father, and one day I'm going to have to explain this whole situation to my daughter. I just want Lonnie to know that I never meant to hurt him, and that I pray every day that he's her father. So, the entire pregnancy, is there doubt? I thought that she belonged to the other person just based on the, the dates that I was supposed to have gotten pregnant, but I, I knew it was close, but now that she's here, I, there's there's been doubts, yeah. Okay. So what kind of a father is he? He's a great father. He spends every minute he can with her. He's completely in love with her. Have you thought about... Have you thought about the fact that if I read this result and it's not the one that you all want, what's going to happen? He's going to be hurt bad. He's going to be hurt real bad. He's going to be devastated. And I think it's going to change things. You think he'll leave? I don't know. He sat down and spoke to Lonnie yesterday, and it was clear he's very upset about this situation. Watch. When me and my girlfriend Amy found out she was pregnant, it was a new beginning for us as a couple. The doctor told us the conception date, and me and Amy realized that uh, prior to that, we had split up for a week, and that it could be another man's. It changed the way I felt about Amy. And it hasn't been the same since. I don't know nothing yet, and I want him to be mine so bad that I can taste it, and I just can't grab it. I love Amy, and I just hope for the baby's sake and everybody's sake that, that she's mine. He sounds like a good guy. Here's Lonnie. Lonnie, welcome to the show. Hey, man. Nice to see you. Yeah. Lonnie, good to see you. Have a seat. Lonnie, this is all you've been worrying about, huh? Yeah. For, I mean, for when you while. worry about, I mean, since you've known since the beginning, I guess, so, and AD is how old? She's five weeks. Five weeks. So this is like 10, 11 months? Yeah. Nine, 10 months? It's something like that. Time. What is this worry for nine or 10 months like? I've never gone through anything like that. It changes your relationship a lot. Uh, we argue more. Uh, we, uh, we don't get along at all because that's always in the back of my mind. I wanted to be my kid. I, I love my kids. I have two of them already, and it's. I just got a lot of love to, to give. I mean, I don't know. I love. I love my girlfriend. I love my kids, and I just pray to God that she's mine. mine. Could you love this child as a father if it's not yours? Yeah. If you knew that there was a possibility. 
from the beginning. Why'd you stick around? Because I love, I love this woman like I've never loved any woman in my life, man. She means, she means the world to me. See, to me, I mean, it sounds to me that you're being very truthful, so therefore, it seems to me that you're going to stay together no matter what. Or what you have to get over is whatever... I've let myself do that. I've did it to myself. You kind of dug yourself a hole in this. I've just kept telling myself she's mine, and I shouldn't have did that. Because then I started believing, and then now it's gonna it's gonna hurt worse now because I let myself do that. Anything you want to tell him before I read the results? I, just, I hope she is his, and uh, I think he's a good person for being there for her no matter what. Boy, I, sh I sure do think he's a good guy. We're gonna find out right now. Well, I hope you're the best. We all want the same result. In the case of five-week-old Adia, Lonnie, will this family's prayer be answered? The DNA results are next. In the case of five-week-old Adia, Lonnie. You are the five. Get off my stage. Shocking family paternity drama, next. I need to know if my boyfriend Lonnie is my daughter's father. Around the time I got pregnant, I was with my boyfriend Lonnie and an ex. Based on the conception date, I don't know which one is the father. When me and my girlfriend Amy found out she was pregnant, it was a new beginning for us as a couple. The doctor told us the conception date, and me and Amy realized that uh, prior to that, we had split up for a week and that it could be another man's. I love Amy, and I just hope for the baby's sake and everybody's sake that, that she's mine. If you knew that there was a possibility from the beginning, why'd you stick around? Because I love, I love this woman like I've never loved any woman in my life, man. In the case of five-week-old Adia, Lonnie, you are the father. Thank you. Oh, damn. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. Oh, my God. You okay? Yeah. Thanks, Maury. The world is good, isn't it? Yes, it's great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Maury.